So Jeb, talk me through your creative process. So when you sort of decide you're starting the new season, mm. what is it that you kind of think is the ultimate aim, as it were? I think because of the structure of it, where, where each new season um, has to appear to be completely fresh, then that really starts with who the, the, the guest character is. Yeah. So it's thinking about who that police officer might be and then thinking about the AC12 side of it, you know, what, where they all are and, and finding a, a story that they can collide with, which mm -hmm. will allow us to explore their characters and their interrelationships. So it, it, it actually probably does get a bit harder each time because there are, because we've kind of done a lot of things already. already yeah. um, so finding a character that occupies distinctive territory is, 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 is the hard part. But the advantage is that uh, the regular characters, um, uh, Kate and Steve and, and uh, Hastings, they've, they've reached a point where I think there's quite a lot now that the audience are expecting of them. In their relationship. In, in their yeah. relationship, but also they know the characters well now and that they've got questions that they expect mm. the series to answer. So that then allows me to try and figure out what's the best way of bringing that out. Totally. So what was the commissioning process? So when you first pitched the show, was that plain sailing? Did the channel get it straight no, away? I, I don't think any commissioning <laughs> process is plain sailing. Um, no, it was, um, uh, we went through the, the regular route of developing it with a drama commissioner and then it went to the head of drama um, and, and the, the feedback there was very, very positive. So we, we, we got to a very good position, but then it was about getting it on the air. Yeah. And that's when things get complicated. So there was there was some talk of it going to BBC One. That didn't that didn't work out. Then it was offered to BBC Two, uh, and that took a while. And eventually, it got greenlit for BBC Two. Um, and, and then we were just very fortunate that it was it, it was well supported and it and it and it did well. Were you surprised by the ratings? Because it was a hit just straight away, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I think you always are. I think that I'm 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 always. Um, surprised when something absolutely works. Yeah. I think that, um, you know, I think you obviously should, should find your failures surprising as well, <laughs> but um, the, it's just the fact that you never know whether something's gonna connect. Mm. You know, you can work as hard as possible on something, do the best work possible, in, in, but then it's, it's, it's a very democratic process and also, that there are narrow margins. You know, it might just be scheduled on the wrong night of the week. The trailers might not be right. Yeah. The title might be wrong. Yeah. Anything can, can go wrong. Was it supported properly through that process, would you say? Yeah, I think it was. I think that, that they kind of saw that um, it, it was trying to do something different and there was a push for BBC Two drama at that point. So all those kind of things aligned in a very positive way. And, and you know, I've, I've worked on shows for, for the BBC and other networks where that didn't happen. Mm. I mean, I'd done bodies for the BBC where it wasn't supported and it kind of fell between the cracks, whereas that wasn't the experience on this. So we've really benefited from that and we feel very fortunate and privileged. Brilliant. So Kate, do you think it's important? Because I think one of the things that is so refreshing. I'll tell you about it. <laughs> oh God, you look at this. I told you. <laughs> Maybe because I'm wearing like a suit today. I look yeah. very Kate Fleming. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. There's Steve around too. <laughs> so do you think it's important to have strong female characters like Kate's? <laughs> yeah, of, course, of course it is. Yeah. No, of course it is. Um, I mean, I've got to say, I do think Line of Duty always nail it with casting. Really? You know, do. And the across, diversity, you know, may I say. Credit yeah. to you for that. Casting yeah. Line of Duty is just, for me, it's never obvious. You know, Neil Morrissey in the first series, you're like, eh? Yeah. It was genius. Mm. And then, you know, you have Tandy and then Will Meller. Mm. And then, you know, you just, Danny Mays, Keely Hawes, like the people we get in aren't obvious. No. no and they all. nail it every time. It. So the casting is, you know, always for the right the right reason it's not just oh okay we better get a lady in and she better be you know it's like it's it's all for the right reasons um but i'm i'm very lucky because kate is at the forefront with the guys yeah um and i've always seen her as one of the guys totally um so she's you know she it's holds quite, her own yeah, yeah exactly but um yeah in terms of sort of working with keely and tandy it was great because we were you know we were ruling the roost i love it <laughs>
<laughs> and how has it changed your life as an actress? It's been crazy. I mean, it was, you know, the sort of This Is England was a big part of my career. Of course, and, yeah. um, You know, was very popular, but it was mm. a, a lot more cult. Yeah. And yeah. Line of Duty was watched by, well, the, certainly the last series, sort of yeah. 10 million people. Yeah. I mean, just can't get my head around I it. I know. Um, so, yeah, it's mad because it's, it's such a massive show now and it covers so many people. Um, so many people have enjoyed the show. And when we, st when we did the first series, it, it was that thing. You go, I think it's really good. Mm. I think it's got legs. But who knows? Until you put it out there, you just don't know you if anybody's going to watch it. Totally. Um, so we're all really proud of it. You know, genuinely work our asses off as well. It's such a hard show to shoot. It's a hard show to to make because there's so much dedication we have to put in with dialogue and mm. understanding exactly what's going on because we get confused too. How, um, so <laughs> <laughs> How far in advance do you get the script? So do you know what's going to happen in a season? Yeah, I mean, we're probably about, I'd say about four weeks before the shoot, we've got a good sort of, you know, but the thing, you can't learn stuff too Two in advance. I mean, mm. the sort of 20, 30 page interrogation scenes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it just make me feel a bit breathy thinking about it. Um, but, you know, we have to get on those as soon as we can. But then we've got so much to shoot. Yeah. You know, and we're busy and we're, it's quick turnaround. So we just have to sort of knuckle down whilst we're there. Totally. And, um, yeah. So, Jed, you know, I would say sort of in the age of Netflix and Amazon, what this show proves is that linear TV is not dead at mm. all and that people were so excited to sort of set their clocks and be there to watch the show weekly mm. and have the conversation. Mm. Are you someone that's sort of committed to that or are you sort of open to both? Well, I'm, I'm open to both and obviously the, the, the show is on, on iPlayer yeah. and, and, and on Netflix yeah. and, and people record and, and, and binge watch. So. It, it, it is a nice situation for a viewer where you have all these different choices about how you choose to watch. Mm. Um, and we're obviously incredibly flattered by how much attention the series gets by the, the, the live audience. So the people who watch it uh, the night it goes out or within a few hours. The impact on social yeah, media. Yeah, and then the social media impact. Yeah. And the fact that that, that then fuels conversation about the series mm. until the next episode and mm. and you know that's something that that we never planned it's something which which has evolved with the series where we obviously do have a lot of twists and turns and we do we do put things in episodes that will be referred to later and maybe the significance like isn't clear and he lost her arm i mean nobody was yeah. expecting that yeah it's so really erupted yeah, <laughs> yeah. so so it, it's just maybe just brilliant timing actually and very fortunate timing that in this age of social media mm. um we we've captured people's imagination and we and we just you know feel very very flattered by that